Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Um, I'm here in Seekonk, Mass again. I'm about to do an animal show at the library for the kids. And um, I've been walking around here for a few minutes and I wanted to show you something that's kind of cool, a cool trick to know. How to make a toothbrush out of birch twigs. So I've got the camera nestled in the birch tree right here. It's a little tree. And what I look for, you know, white birch. Birch is the tree, only tree that has white bark on it. It's very, very easy to identify. You look at the tree and I look for new growth. And there's one right here. I'm gonna pull this out, to show to you. Look for the lighter bark, lighter colored bark is new growth. And we're gonna take a cutting tool, I'm gonna cut off just a little twig. I don't wanna hurt the tree that much, you know. Just a little bit, we'll break this little one off here. So get that out. Okay. And let the rest of that go. So now we're gonna strip the leaves off. We only need it to be about, you know, regular toothbrush size, maybe six or eight inches. We're gonna clip it off there. It's in my way now. And here's what you're left with: just a little stick. And it's got the lighter tannish colored bark. The older twigs are gonna be more like this one here. See the color difference? A lot darker. Either one works, but I've noticed that the flavor is a little better on this one. So what you do, you take your knife blade, hold it at a right angle. You're gonna scrape just the end two inches off to reveal the green inner bark layer. All the way around it. And there you go. So that's all cleaned up. And that's what it looks like now. And now we're done with our knife, so we put our knife away. Now, here's when it gets cool. So we're gonna make this into a toothbrush. We're gonna chew on the end of it, and the chewing separates the wood fibers into like bristles for our brush. And then the green inner bark there has very amazing wintergreen flavor. And um, it tastes you know, very similar to the wintergreen from wintergreen plants, which grow around here also. And as a matter of fact, all the wintergreen products, you know, gum and mouthwash, stuff like that, uh, is made from extract from birch for the wintergreen flavor, not from actual wintergreen. So that's kind of a neat thing. So you chew on it and then um, separate the fibers to show you what that looks like here. Just takes a minute. Just spin it around, get them all separated. And it tastes really nice. some inner bark. So there we're starting to separate out, get some little bristles, do just a little bit more. The more you chew, the finer the bristles got. Make sure no one's coming on the trail thinking I'm a lunatic, which I am. All right, so there, see it looks like little brush bristles. And now you can use that to clean your teeth. And the bristles will get some of the plaque off your teeth, freshen it up, and the inner bark with the wintergreen flavor will freshen your breath and, um, and help with that, kill some germs in your mouth. So it's a pretty cool trick. When you're done using that, if you want to save it for later, you would cut the end off, save it for next time. You can let it dry even, and then you just strip off the outer bark two inches again, chew that, and use it. You can use it dried. It will work almost as well as with fresh. Oh, spit it out inner bark. So hope you like that. Pretty cool.